Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss what do you do when you got a flat foot while you're deadlifting. And so uh, my girlfriend actually asked me this question. So as you come down to the bottom, I'm going to turn over and show you the goods here. So as you come down to the bottom, I can't believe I just said that. As you come down to the bottom, your feet might collapse in like this. You see how my heels kind of move out this way and I put a lot of pressure on the inside of my heels and the insides of my feet here. That to me is indicative of a lack of mobility. And very specifically, you're noticing that the ankles are not maintaining a good stable position, right? I'm not getting the right amount of uh, dorsiflexion that I need. That's where the, the knee comes ahead of the toe, that kind of motion. So there's a couple things I can do. First and foremost, I need to just cue the foot that way. If I start, bending that way and I'm up here, it's not a mobility problem, it's a motor control problem, right? Because there's no mobility demand up here. But if I'm just holding myself here in toward my midline, then I know that I need, I'm, my body feels the need to do that to stay stable, right? So instead, if I notice that right away, what I gotta do is, let's say, I wanna think tripod foot and so I'm gonna, evenly disperse my weight between my heel, my base of my pinky toe, and my base of my big toe, okay? And so when I collapse inward, I can feel more of my big toe and I almost can't feel my outer pinky toe at all, right? Every time I bend over, my glasses keep sliding down. It's crazy, okay? So I might just say, scoot your weight to the outsides of your feet. I like to say the tripod foot thing because it prevents um, overdoing it, right? I don't want this to happen either. That's not a very stable position. Um, but start with that cue, especially if you're noticing it first. After that, if you're cueing it and it's really hard to respond to that, well, I might just need to limit the motion, right? Let's just come to the knee and then come back up. Come to the knee and come back up. Some people are only gonna get this ankle collapse once you get down to the bottom of the deadlift. And so I get here, and then I try to find that little extra motion, and you see my feet come in like that, okay? So it's the same principle. We're going to address, I, I like to use the, the tripod foot thing, but we're going to address where you're messing it up, okay? So we need to re-educate you at the bottom of the deadlift when your hips are totally flexed and when your body is demanding the most mobility out of you, right? So that tripod foot cue, I, I'm not giving you any other cues because that one works every time. Um, if the, just because it's so slow, right? It's easy to think about, it's easy to visualize. If you can't feel it, you might want to, um, you might want to think about your footwear so if I have a shoe, like if, I, if I'm wearing a Vans, this happens every time somebody's wearing Vans. It happens every time somebody's wearing uh, CrossFit, Metcon shoes or whatever. And that's why I hate those shoes because they're not stabilizing your foot at all. They're not allowing you to feel your arch at all. These ones are actually kind of doing that to me too, but they look sweet and they're clean and I'm on my carpet. So we're gonna keep them. Um, I need to make sure I can feel where my foot is. Small little anecdote, a couple days ago, I had a client and he told me he has high arches. I looked at him, confirmed he was correct. And then we put some paper towel in his shoe to bring up the arch of his shoe so that he could just feel a little something there. And his hip <laughs> rotation went from 15 to 50, <laughs> one five to five zero. Um, it's just crazy, right? And so I can't expect my body to always utilize all that motion if it can't feel where it is in space. And so that's why footwear is really important sometimes. Some people don't need to be so particular about it, but if you have super flat feet, you might need some hard-soled orthotics from your podiatrist. And if you have super high arches, you might need a little bit more cushion up there so that you can feel something. Collapsing feet, those are the big things. So I'm initiating it, that's definitely a motor control issue. If it's happening only at the bottom, that could be a motor control issue as well as most mobility problems are. 
but it could also just be a mobility problem. So maybe I just need to limit my motion and not come all the way down. Maybe I don't need all that dorsiflexion here or I shouldn't be trying to access all that dorsiflexion here and this will give me a little bit more room. Okay, if nothing else, spreading your feet out requires a little bit more uh, pronation and a little bit flatter foot position. And so that'll actually help you. It'll make that compensation that you're doing a little bit more normal. Um, generally allows you to feel your legs a little bit more. So I think we've covered everything I wanna cover. This was talking about foot collapsing, flat feet, ankle, eversion, pronation, whatever you want to call it, during the deadlift. A couple different ways that we might address it, but again, I want you to think about it as a motor control issue. Repattern yourself instead of trying to do a bunch of ankle mobility drills and ankle stretches. Try to figure out how to teach your body to maintain a good mobile position while you do your whole lift.